Let's pivot to some other breaking uh, news in the political front to get back out to our deputy political uh, editor, Sam Coates. Sam, you told us uh, earlier in the show uh, that uh, the new job that um, Angela Rayner was getting, it uh, of course pushed Lisa Nandy out of her role. What's she getting instead? She's getting what is, to all intents and purposes, a demotion. Lisa Nandy will be, in the words of Labour, because this isn't a formal job to shadow, she has been appointed Shadow Cabinet Minister for International Development. Now, let me unpack the significance of that. There is not a cabinet post anymore for international development. Uh, Boris Johnson scrapped the department uh, for international development. So, in effect, she will be a probably minister of shadow in the minister of state level. She'll be a sort of shadow number two in the Foreign Office. This is unambiguously a demotion. She will still uh, attend uh, Cabinet. Uh, but nevertheless, this is Lisa Nandy having her wings clipped by the Labour leader. And it's a particularly brutal act by Keir Starmer because it was not that long ago that Lisa Nandy was the Shadow Foreign Secretary. Uh, so the number one uh, shadowing uh, the Foreign Office, not the number two. Uh, and so this will be a difficult sw uh, pill, uh, pill to swallow, but um, uh, swallow she has done. I've got a, a, a quote from a source close to Lisa Nandy. This says, we are proud of the work Lisa has done, spearheading some of the most exciting policy in housing and devolution. Lisa is a team player and looks forward to getting stuck in to her new role. Uh, so the choice for Lisa Nandy, very bluntly, was to accept this demotion from Keir Starmer and stay inside the tent or to walk out altogether uh, and probably be more difficult from the backbenchers. She's, told that she's chosen the first of those two options. She is remaining, uh, and she is uh, regarded by some in the Labour Party, in the Labour movement, uh, as a good TV performer. Uh, so she will continue to sell, uh, sell Keir Starmer's message. The, the suggestion was always people around Keir Starmer didn't quite trust Lisa Nandy, uh, 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 thought that she was loyal enough to him personally. She took him on uh, in the leadership contest, uh, was a bit of an outsider. He won. Uh, I think their relationship has always, on a personal level, uh, been a little bit rocky. Uh, but now one of the key bits of the jigsaw uh, has been revealed. Lisa Nandy uh, to be the number two in the Foreign Office, or in their words, uh, Shadow International Development Secretary. Sam, Sam, literally 30 seconds. What, what, what could be the most high-profile move left? Do you think we've had the most high-profile yet, or we don't know? I think there's still lots to come. Let's see what Keir Starmer wants to do. If, this is a, if that's it, it's a bit of a mini reshuffle. But let's see how the day unfolds.